Well, it's almost time to begin the uh, presentation. We will begin this last session with um, a presentation on a wiki site made by Elizabeth Siever, Simon Cobb, and Liam Wyatt. And I just let you introduce yourself. Uh, please don't hesitate to take notes on the other part. Thank you for everything. All right, let's get started. So I'm Elizabeth Siever. I'm the outgoing program manager for Wikisite. And I wanted to tell you all a little bit about it. Just as a show of hands, how many people are already familiar with Wikisite? That's great. I'm glad that so many of you are. I was wondering how many people here uh, were thinking about it as just like, all those people who are putting all the citations in Wikidata and filling it up. And Wikisite is so much more. So we're all excited to tell you about it today. So what is Wikisite? The goal of Wikisite is to collect all citations for the sum of all human knowledge. You know, just a little something. And um, we're doing this in a number of ways. Um, and one of them is uh, via conferences and workshops and getting together the community of people who um, are interested in working on citations. And it's a very diverse group of people. So of course we have people who are working in Wikidata and other Wikimedians. We have librarians, people into linked open data, uh, software engineers, data scientists, open knowledge advocates, um, coming together about linked open bibliographic data. So uh, in terms of the history of Wikisite, it was founded as an initiative in 2016. Um, and we secured uh, dedicated funding for events um, for three years in 2018. And as I mentioned, um, you're probably familiar with uh, the big, uh, the number, the millions of citations that we already have that are hosted on Wikidata. So, So what, so what are we doing in Wikisite and with all of these citations? It's not just about collecting them, it's about using them. And it uh, creates so many opportunities um, for, uh, for, for new projects. So one of the things you can do with this data is build data models for bibliographic item types, which should be exciting for people who are into schemas. Um, you can also do uh, open cataloging and uh, disambiguation. Uh, Sorry, my notes are not synced with this. And uh, people are also building tools on top of this, uh, visualization tools such as uh, Scolia. Um, if you're interested at all in, um, in open cataloging or author disambiguation, um, or just even figuring out how sources link together, a wiki site is a good way to do that. So in terms of the direction that Wikisite is heading in, um, one of the things we're trying to do is expand uh, the types of things that are cited. Uh, right now in Wikidata, it's mostly journal articles. Um, we'd like to keep growing our community, um, especially outside of the global north and outside of um, English language publications. And oh, I realize this is actually something that Liam will be talking about. Um, so, uh, so what we wanted to do now was to do sort of a deep dive into one of the uses of Wikidata. So for that, I would like to introduce um, Simon Cobb. Hi, everyone. So what I want to talk about is an example of something we could potentially focus on within the scope of Wikisite, and that's the data quality issues that I've been encountering over the last year as I've been editing on scholarly papers. Um, the three issues I'm going to briefly touch on are the quality of the author items that are getting attached to scholarly articles, issues around DOI formats, and just general cu curation of the data that we're creating. Um, firstly, look at some authors. Oh, sorry, firstly, I'll provide some context. We've got 26 million scholarly article items now. Um, the data quality issues are going to talk about a very small proportion of these. We're generally creating quite good quality data. Um, we, get, we have a lot of external identifiers, 21.65 million PubMed IDs, 19 million DOIs, and we've added 8.3 million author statements, although we still have 105.5 million author name strings to replace. 
Um, in terms of the authors, we've been creating a lot of items from ORCID IDs. Um, we've got over half a million items with an ORCID ID now, but over 50% of those do not have any affiliation data yet. Um, that's no employer or no educator that I found 25,000 where we only have two statements. That's an ORCID ID and an instance of a human. This isn't particularly useful in terms of um, reuse for anyone else in beyond Wikidata if we're serious about creating a bibliographic database and providing open data for people. We really need to be focusing on quality, I believe. Um, so there's a lot of work to be doing. We've done really well with automatic imports, but I think we need to, in the future, step back and think how can we really make this data useful. Um, and one of the ways to do that is to be making our author, IDs, author items better quality by adding affiliation information, adding first names, surnames, um, and just moving beyond um, occupation researcher, trying to get what field people are working in, for example. Um, moving on to DOIs, when I was looking how many um, scholarly papers we have now, I immediately noticed that we have DOIs that are just four characters. Um, that is not a correct DOI. We've got about 110 items with this DOI format. In the grand scheme of things, not that big a problem, but that's never been a correct DOI. It's been created by an automatic process. No one has checked that and realized that we have this error and corrected it. So it's kind of an appeal I want to make to people for if you're doing batch imports to check what you're doing and look for these obvious data quality problems. Um, and another final issue that I've noticed is errata. We have over 13,000 items that are instance of errata, but they're not linked to the paper that they're correcting. So <laughs> I've also pr produced a table of the top 10 um, titles of the, um, these errata items and we notice they're not particularly informative. So at some point we're going to have to go back and look at how we can actually get the information about what these are, errata are cor correcting because they're not really much use to anyone at the moment. Um, so in the future I hope this is one area that we can work on as a community and we can coordinate a bit better with what data imports we're doing and how we can curate all our data, bring it all together and sort of combine our expertise. Um, I'm going to pass over to Liam now to talk a bit about how we might be able to coordinate our efforts in the future. Thank you. So, uh, I will... So, um, as mentioned in the, in the final slide from Elizabeth, Wikisite is trying to be more and more diverse and higher quality and more widely spread. The idea is over the next year or so, with the dedicated funding that's been provided and is available over a three year period, of which we're, we're, we've entered, to change Wikisite the conference, of which there's been a few, into a series of proposals from you into what we're calling satellite events around the world. This will be focusing, there'll be a um, call for proposal system, a, a reviewing a, a procedure that is currently not yet invented for um, deciding on how to, how to um, uh, what's the word I'm after, uh, prioritize these requests and see if we can't get a wider diversity of content, contributor and topic supported in the Wikisite umbrella uh, in, through, a series, through these series of satellite events. To that end, the Wikisite grant uh, was successfully um, applied for and received through the work of Wikisite's uh, father, Dario, who many of you might know from the Wikimedia Foundation. Dario no longer works at the Wikimedia Foundation, and so this grant 
has a needed a home, what has happened is that the wiki site steering committee, um, primarily made up of the organising team from last year's wiki site conference, will continue to oversee this this work. And the Wikimedia Foundation has hired a temporary uh, or a part-time uh, coordinator to oversee and support that work and to promote and receive those applications for the satellite events, and that will be me. <laughs> um, so I got the call yesterday so that I could be able to <laughs> confirm that in among an audience which is highly relevant to that topic, <laughs> which is helpful so I can talk to you here and now about that. So we have this is this is listed as a panel in the in the program uh, even though it's a bit of a i think panel is a generous way of describing the three of us in this in this context but the idea is we would like to hear from you on that immediate thought about uh, or or questions for Simon as well specifically if you have questions for Simon specifically about what you think are good directions that should be addressed or should be attempted in this forthcoming year, either individually, online, uh, and things that not necessarily you can do but think should be done, and specifically to start thinking about what a satellite event would mean with relations to with relation to open citations and how would best be how the community at large would best be served by that kind of support beyond merely financial but what does support mean for satellite events in open citations according to you if you want to come back up and we can like did you have a question uh, yes uh, I do research on um, predatory publishing and on retractions. You only mentioned errata. So how are you dealing with uh, expressions of concern and retractions? And what is your policy on trying to identify predatory publishers? OK, so within the scope of preparing for this, I, um, I wasn't looking at um, retractions. But people have been doing work on that and trying to add. We have a property notice of retraction, so we can be creating those links. Um, I don't know what extent that's happened in the same way not all the errata are linked to the paper that's been corrected. I suspect that's a similar case with... It's exactly the same. Yeah. Um, yeah. As I say, I wasn't looking at that, but we can potentially link the, the retraction to the retracted article, the retraction notice to the retracted article. In terms of predatory publishers... Um, I'm not aware of anyone having done any work in this area, but I wouldn't like to say that hasn't happened. Oh, we have Charles, his hand going up there. Do you want to comment on predatory publishers, Charles? Uh, right, well, I encountered this problem in the Sand Source project. And first of all, I did what I could to put Beale's list in Wikidata form. Now, Beale's list isn't sort of what everybody wants to be dealing with, but it was a starting point. So that, that has been done as far as I was able to. Okay. Um, but the um, thing I rely on more, perhaps, is DOAJIDs. Uh, DOA that is, if we put all the DOAJIDs into um, <coughs> Wikidata, we'd have made a really good attempt to uh, isolate the predatory publishers. That is not the whole story, but it's... It, these days, it's it's the bulk of the story. Directory of open access yeah. journals, that is. Yeah. Um, so, so, yes, I just spent a year travelling around New Zealand trying to explain Wikidata to li the library community. And as soon as I mentioned Wikisite, their eyes rolled because they'd just been told they have to be up with Wikipedia, Wikicommons, Wikidata. Here's another Wiki project that they need to know about. Why can't we just do it all with Wikidata, they were saying. So there's a public perception problem straight away amongst the very community that we need to have on board for this to work. I'm interested in thinking how are we going to reach the library community, educate them, and get them in integrally involved in this process. 
I have thoughts, but I'd like to hear your thoughts first. Sure, I think... Okay. Um, is this better? Yeah. All right. I feel like I'm at a concert. So uh, one of the things we try to do is uh, incorporate um, librarians and libraries into, into Wikisite in everything that we do. So on the steering committee, we have um, at least two librarians, if not more. And um, at our actual Wikisite events, um, one of the things that's actually pretty great about Wikisite is that we end up getting uh, both speakers and participants who are maybe not actually involved in any uh, wiki projects. So they don't have wiki fatigue. <laughs> um, and a lot of times they're coming from the perspective of, um, well, I'm, right, I'm interested in licked open data. Um, I'd love to use citations at my university. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about how Wikidata works and how I might use the citations that are in Wikidata? So I think it's very much about um, bringing these uh, communities together, which might seem uh, disparate around these common goals um, for people who are really concerned about curating data and then people who might already know about how to do that on Wikidata. I would say in terms of the confusion and the complexity uh, implied by the question of well, there's Wikisite and there's Wikidata and there's this. Wikisite is a, is a brand name, it's a project, Gl Glamwiki. You know, Glamwiki also uses the, the word wiki, but it's not pretending to be a wiki or competing with Wikipedia and Wikidata. It's the particular focus area uh, of reference information, referenceable information. Now, uh, particularly on the context, in the context of a series of conferences that have happened over the last few years, and the conference is called Wikisite. Within, particularly within this community, the Wikidata core group, Wikisite is seen, known, understood as a large number of items uploaded to Wikidata about scholarly publications. That is what is understood as Wikisite by this community. Mostly, um, I would like to. Th there is a question about could a wiki site be made into its own wiki base of just citation stuff, not wiki data, and then, then there's federation um, and, and funky things like that, and you could put a lot more very um, specific information about individual citable things there which is perfectly valid way of, of dealing with questions of notability and, and properties, but the technology for doing that is not yet r relevant anyway. We need a lot more um, work on, particularly on federation in Wikibase to make sure everything syncs neatly. So uh, until such time as that would be a viable outcome, in the meantime, all of the things that would serve that kind of outcome also serve just improving the quality on Wikidata and improving the links with Wikipedia and Wikisource. Um, the brand name is, as far as I'm concerned, irrelevant. It's just the project to make better footnotes. Um, just a comment in relation to your <coughs> query about um, satellite uh, proposals for satellite conferences, I, th I don't think you realise the level of ignorance about wiki anything from our country in New Zealand. I mean, seriously. As an Australian, I recognise the ignorance of New okay, Zealand. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, friendly spaces, come on. Oh, oh stamped. Um, <laughs> What, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that if there is a, if we have a satellite or somehow organise a joint satellite uh, uh, conference, from my perspective, what I'm looking for is strategies in how to engage the community. They they, they aren't even at the at the level of um, being. They don't know enough to even be enthusiastic about. Wikidata and Wikisite yet. They, they look at it with a lot of scepticism if they're even aware of it. So we're, well, I, I in particular want to be able to have uh, a meeting in order to be able to learn from those who've already engaged 
more successfully with the community to get a skill base in order to build some collaborations in New Zealand with the, you're talking about extra uh, people to actually engage with. I just want the core library community to get on board and then go the extra step. It's like you're, I'm looking at you saying, oh, we want to reach out to other communities, and I'm saying I just want to reach out to a community. You know, we're, we're a lot further behind for where we are. So, yeah. yeah. The, I would not wish to pretend that Wikisite and open bibliographic information is uh, the be all and end all of Wikidata or Wikimedia outreach. Yeah. Um, it's a specific subset. And I would not wish to try and make Wikisite a brand mm. appear to be overriding or replacing or um, somehow getting in the way of just general good quality outreach mm. about Wikimedia mm. Mm. Uh, and working with libraries yeah. in general yeah. and Wikidata, yeah. even more specific. This is a subset of Wikidata. Yeah. Um, so particularly for Wikisite satellite events, yes. I don't want to make it appear like there's a competition for, okay. you know, wiki, so everything about Wikidata now has to be called Wikisite. No, yes. this yeah. is a yeah. really quite niche, in the scheme of things, topic area. Yes. Supporting general awareness raising about Wikidata and open access information mm. and Wikimedia mm. is, is far beyond the scope of this kind of um, particular specialist outreach. Right. And that's not to say that it's not a good thing too. Yeah. But um, I, I, I... I just to see... The, sorry, one more comment. Wikisite um, has, the, has the possible inroad to those at the wider uh, community for the people we want to get on board. So to me, Wikisite is... Yes, it's a subset and really a uh, much smaller uh, set of... Um, beliefs and information, etc. But it, I see it as an easy stepping stone to get them addicted, and then you can right. open it up. Right. So yeah, yeah. We have just time for one short question. So one of you has another question for the Wikisite team. Thank you for sharing this feedback with us. Oh. Somebody had a question. Uh, Finn, which, which one of you wants to? Okay. Hi, thank you so much for this. So I was just wondering, um, is there ever going to be like a, a pairing of the of the bibliography used in Wikipedia articles and Wikisite? Are you planning to? move all those references and parse them so that there, we can do some analysis of which references we're using in the, in the Wikipedia articles. And you know, when you create an article in another language just to get suggestions of this are the references that have been used, kind of like that. I know one of the short-term goals of Wikisite is to have all citations in wiki projects represented in Wikidata. Um, currently, there's not an automatic pipeline that uh, keeps that updated, but uh, that's definitely one of our primary goals. And ultimately, there is, there is not specific support in the developer uh, community for, for that kind of activity in particular. That's on the interests of the individual community members to do exports. Like all this, all this work that's been demonstrated, that's not from the foundation. It's, People doing doing individual work on their on their interests. So that could be a good satellite event to to try and export that kind of work. Getting it a good pipeline so that you can make references in Wikipedia's easily hook into Wikidata items, multilingual, etc., does not yet exist technologically. And certain languages have. Um, concerns about that. The larger the, the Wikipedia language, the more defensive they are about um, using Wikidata directly. But that'll come. 
Yeah, I, I was just going to say what Liam has finished with there, that strict citations are something that are very much within the scope and what we would like to work towards, but that needs community tool builders to take on that challenge, I think. And also, we need to be doing the outreach to the Wikipedians to show them that we can provide good quality data consistently. We are run of time. Sorry for if someone had another question, but I think that these nice people will ask you privately after. So it's time for us for the last session, and we are welcoming on stage uh, Jean-Fred, Envel, and... Uh, <laughs> <huh>? <laughs>